Hello fellow PvE players. Midyear Mayhem is coming up, and as a PvE min maxing overlord, it's time to show these PvP scrubs how to get good. Once you go through this guide, you will know more about Cyrodiil than Brian Wheeler himself. Let's begin. Cyrodiil is the main open world PvP map in ESO, where three factions fight each other for glory. According to EP, it's all green versus red. According to DC, it's all orange. And according to AD, well even AD hates themselves. Alliance Locked Campaign is a CP enabled 30 day campaign. Once entered, you can only play on characters of same alliance for the duration of the campaign. On the other three, you can play on any character, regardless of their alliance. You can only enter the leaderboards once you select a campaign as your home. You can only have one home campaign active at a time. When you enter Cyrodiil for the first time, an introduction quest will be given by an NPC. I suggest doing this as it teaches you all the key elements of Cyrodiil, such as using sieges, quest boards and spending 15 minutes riding your horse to some random place. Alliance points are the main currency of PvP that you can use to buy sieges, PvP gear, and golden vendor items. AP can be earned by killing players, healing allies, capturing and defending objectives, and completing quests. Each alliance has two bases. And a scroll temple near each base. Your main objective is to protect these scrolls from scroll trolls, slaughterfish and whatnot. These scroll temples are protected by a main gate. Connected to a triangle of three keeps which decides whether the gate is open or not. Once the gate is open, enemies erg lords are free to waltz in and take those undefended scrolls. In the middle, there is a ring of six keeps. If an alliance captures all six of these keeps, they get to crown their biggest zerg lord as the emperor. Even though the emperor is farmed by bots and AP exploiters, you can also become one at the cost of losing your sleep, sanity, and will to live. So don't stop trying. On a serious note, player who earned the highest AP during the campaign, becomes the emperor for that faction. Faction score is calculated every hour, based on keeps, resources, outposts, and scrolls held. Faction with the highest score wins the campaign at the end of 30 days. Basically, whoever zergs more, wins. This, is a transitor's shrine. Every base, fort, and outpost got one. As long as a fort or an outpost is connected to your base, you can port there. You cannot teleport to a fort, if it's under attack, or if an enemy faction controls all of its resources, or you can use keep recall stones to teleport to unconnected keeps. And to get out of Cyrodiil, you have to sacrifice your newborn or 18 goats to Uncle Shio. Or you can use the way shrines in your bases. Under no circumstances, should you ask the zone chat about this. When every teleportation option is blocked, time to start riding across the map for 10 minutes. Ah. Good old, horse simulator. Each keep has three resources. Given that you control the resources, keeps upgrade from level 0 to level 2, over time. Farm levels up keep guards, lumber mill levels up keep doors, and mine levels up keep walls. So before you take a keep, make sure to waste 5 minutes going around taking resources. That would surely not alert the enemies. When you attack a keep, and get either the main door or a wall below 50%, the keep will light up. When a keep is lit, defending faction can't teleport to the keep. Once the keep doors are down, attacking faction should capture both flags in order to turn the keep. Alternatively, you can keep chasing that solo player around the walls. Much fun yes yes. 
Now, contrary to popular belief, you cannot take keep doors down with light attacks. That's why you use sieges. There are various sieges that can be used for both offensive and defensive purposes. So next time you are in a keep siege, make sure to steal a siege from someone, and use it to your personal gain. You can buy sieges from siege merchants located in all keeps, bases and outposts. Just remember, ballistas and trebuchet are used against structures. Fire ballistas, catapults, and flaming oil are used against players. Forward camps are used to resurrect your allies so they can die all over again. Use these tactics for maximum PV door experience. Note that you can get both offensive and defensive ticks in keep sieges. While defending, you need to contribute to the siege for a defensive tick. While capturing a keep, just being in the vicinity of the keep is enough for an offensive tick. Leech away, freeloader. Quests are a great way to make you feel like you are still doing PvE, while getting ganked and teabagged randomly while doing so. In every alliance base, there are quest boards that give you AP rewards for completing them. These quest boards will give you one keep capture quest, one resource capture quest, a scouting quest, kill specific players quest, and a capture scroll quest. Apart from these, there are conquest missions, when completed will award you with a gladiator's rucksack. Sounds kinky. These containers award you with arena gladiator's proofs. A shitload of these can be later exchanged for pretty cool stuff. These containers have a 20 hour cooldown, so I suggest opening only one every day. Apart from quest boards, there are towns spread all over Cyrodiil. NPCs in these town will give you daily quests. Some of these quests involve in going into various delves in Cyrodiil. Killing any of these delve bosses will grant you a 1 hour buff that gives you extra 20% alliance points from all sources. As you earn alliance points, you will gain alliance ranks. Each rank will reward you with an extra skill point, and loads of other rewards such as nothing, nothing, and nothing. In addition, you will also level up your alliance war skill lines. These skill lines have various skills and passives that are useful in combat. Try to unlock them for maximum benefits. If you are a PC Master Race Gamer, here are some suggested add-ons to help you get started in PvP. A minimap add-on will definitely help while navigating around. CyroHUD displays objectives that are under attack, as well as some QOL features. PvP Meter gives an insight to your alliance points gain. Additionally, for maximum hate whispers, when you kill someone, tell them that you are using this. Finally, here are some tips that most new players are oblivious to. Join a group. If you are new to PvP, the best thing you can do is to join a group, and zerg happily ever after. Slot some heals. With the next update, you will get the ability to heal other players even if you are not grouped with them. So slot some heals and get rewarded with extra alliance points. Resurrect allies. Resurrect friendly players as you can. One day, you will get the favor returned. Chasing solo players into towers. Don't. Stealing sieges of other players. Don't. And above everything, enjoy whatever you are doing. Don't let that hate whispering troll tell you otherwise. Now that you have gathered all the wisdom needed to start PvPing, go ahead, join Ebonheart Pact, and zerg your way to the top. Good luck.